Hey everyone, Rick here, and I thought it would be a fascinating video because as I'm recording this is actually going to be the first time that I, too, am honestly comparing these products side by side. This is the Fantasy Trip Legacy Edition versus the Fantasy Trip Original Edition. Just a few of the components, like I'll compare the new Melee versus the old Melee, but uh, the original Wizard versus... The new wizard, you know, would be similar to that kind of a comparison, like the new death test and the old death test and stuff. But some of these, uh, just to give a quick overview, but I do want to get down to some of the more fine details. So where do we begin here? Let's begin with this. Look at this striking contrast. Now, of course, the original fantasy trip, Melee and Wizard, I have their original Ziploc baggy maps just under this poster frame just so I can play it but you know I won't m damage the sheet so here we go this is the size of the original melee map look at that 1977 and here we go with melee today here we go fantastic new art. And this is one of those neoprene mats. Now, of course, you can get this separately in the actual box, which we'll take a look at in a second. It is much more related, uh, relatable to that kind of thing. But as you can see, they got an artist to really flesh out the way this looks. And of course, you can always check out, and I love, so here we go, copyright of this melee mat is 2018 versus 1977 isn't that something folks i never thought we'd see it honestly oh it is just just so amazing but i have a couple other unboxing videos if you want to see everything that i did get including all of the new stuff like the wizard map and all that but just comparing those two it's going to be so amazing to play on this new art map so let's move on to melee itself here is i don't know what if the, does it say what printing it is because i don't think this is a first printing by any means but it is i believe the first edition uh because i i know i noticed i think it said on here like it was third edition or something like that so there may have been a second yeah third edition first printing so somewhere along the line there was a second edition i don't know if this is it i know the covers probably are uh, different so if someone knows let me know but here's what you would get for three bucks back in 1977 you would get the mat you would get the counters which have been punched and uh, some of the smaller items, like the weapons and stuff, were attached. That uh, this was this was not how it came, but just for maybe ease of play, attached to these bright orange counters, um, so that you wouldn't have to fiddle with really tiny weapon counters. But back in 1977, here it is character creation writing it down on you know just a sheet of paper whereas now and i don't have any right next to me at the moment unfortunately but there are some new fantastic character sheets and here is the new edition of melee but first let's take a look at the back so that is the back back in the meta gaming days and as you can see the components and what it includes and then the back of this box and what it includes, of course, it is not $3. I'm not sure what the retail price of this new edition is, but you do get an extra baggie, which is fantastic. You get three of these beautiful red dice with gold pips. And then the rule book. See, that is where the comparison is really going to be something else. Fantasy Trip Melee. Can you believe it? There you go, folks. Right there. Original and the new. And I'm going to want to look through this and see what all has exactly been updated and changed. But there we go. There's that sample character they put right there. Let's do it. A side-by-side. -side, new and old. Because this wasn't a revised edition by any stretch of the imagination in terms of like rules or anything. This was just a, let's re-release it in the modern era 
And so we have Ragnar the Impetuous today and in 1977. Look at his counter here. And then here we go. I mean, it still has that old school flavor, but he doesn't have those bell bottoms anymore. That is just awesome. Folks, this is amazing. Here is the paper mat. It looks like this is actually going to even be bigger than the original. I will do a side-by-side -side of that as well, if we can get this carefully unfolded. Decent quality paper, but as you do with a lot of these kind of mats, I've uh, I always have a sheet of like plexiglass or acrylic handy. So as you can see, the new one is vastly larger. And in fact, it looks like the footprint is identical to this new mat in terms of the size of the hexes. That may have been a stretch goal as well to increase the size of the hexes. So as you can see, they are definitely larger. But look at this format. Okay, so you have the original there. Melee logos in the corners, just like the new, with the copyright there and copyright right there in the same exact spots. What an homage. But you know what? I wouldn't expect any less from Steve Jackson Games. The attention to detail is going to be there. And then here we go counter comparison the artwork the new artwork as compared to the old let's see if we can get it to focus yeah there we go so there she is dual wielding and there she is now dual wielding what do you think about that isn't that just absolutely awesome that is just too cool and then also some of the weapons old weapons and the new weapons obviously these are going to be great you can tell those are going to be fantastic size counters so you aren't going to be losing those look at the scimitars or the at least some kind of a curved blade old school and new school that is just so awesome so that is the melee comparison fantastic and these boxes are just a great little size too i love that all right so let's move on to the game master screen yes for the fantasy trip there actually was an original game master screen let's see if we can take a look at the new which you know okay so here's the outside fantastic evocative new artwork awesome excellent and these two are going to also be facing the players with all of their options and turn flow, as well as a map. And then on the inside, just oodles of information. It is a four panel GM screen, whereas the original, I believe, is was only a three panel. So let's take a look at this. Here was what the players would see. That art was used on a lot of the books, which we'll take a look at. And we had, it looks like, equipment, costs, and weight, and stats on the outside. 81 is the copyright on this one. And the inside. So obviously, of course, you can see this was a cardstock GM screen, whereas this is what you would expect in the modern era just a thick material and on the inside there's your turn sequence here are your actions all of the stats things you could do and tables to roll on so I'm just curious to compare the turn sequence it looks like it was definitely expanded in the new version 
Well, you know, there was, what, five steps there. This is a sixth step. Forced retreats. Forced retreats, yep. That is the same thing. Combat, movement, initiative. So again, it is the same game. Just clarified and elaborated. That is just awesome. So... Do we have a copyright on the bat outside of this one? No, there actually doesn't look like, unless it was on the inside somewhere. Yes, there actually is. There you go. GM screen copyright. And this was 81 metagaming 2018 Steve Jackson games. All right, that's so cool. So that is the Fantasy Trip GM screen comparison. Next up is something really sweet. It is the Tolan Cars Layer comparison. So here we go. This is the outside. You have some art there and then the new art here fantastic looks like very similar font for the title on the back here we have the copyright of 1980 on the back here, we have some stats. I assume probably the copyright will be on the inside. Yep. And in fact, there it is, side by side, 80 to 2018. All right, let's take a look. And here you go, right here, verbiage. This is a complete labyrinth background for use with the fantasy trip. This is a complete labyrinth background and set up for use with metagamings in the labyrinth system. So you can see they did a cleanup job with the writing. So it's not exactly a straight reprint, but that is just awesome. Here's some more copyright information. And then, so here is the new version, just to flip through a bit. And I don't know if you want any spoilers or not. I probably should have said that earlier. But that is that. Different level things you might find. And then here is the old version. Same kind of diagrams and stuff. And then the map is the thing. So here's the new map. It has an, a legend and all the different levels are in different colors, whereas the original, and here's a sheet of like mega hexes, kinda. Here is a GM character record. Oh, that is one thing I did not think to compare. Here is an actual fantasy trip character record versus they did make new ones of that as well. But here is a map, as you can see, and there is one here that was like slightly colored in. Here it is on the back page of the book. Here are some just uh, photocopied versions of it where it may have been best to color it in as has been begun to have been done here because otherwise what you have is different designs on the page to denote levels and look at that does that just not look like an absolute mess honestly it may not be that hard when you're actually working your way through it because you are working around the same uh design which isn't too hard to follow when you get right down into it but then the levels kind of get a little confusing of course you have your ladders and or uh, you know inclines whereas here is the new one so it still has the inclines shown but it also has it all color coded for you and of course the legend just helps out tremendously with that comparing the different levels and then all, of course having all the different map symbols 
Whereas here, similar kind of thing. And you can, yeah, as it says right there, suggested to color in each level, but that is the, it kind of tells you right there what the different levels are and what the different symbology on the map is. So that is just too cool. That's the original Tolan Cars layer from, what would that have been? Almost 40 years ago versus the new edition. That is just fantastic. Here, let's do this first. And I actually did kind of do this in my extras unboxing, but I actually cracked this open so we can actually take a look at what this is. Obviously, they did not have a plastic pocket box edition of Melee and Wizard back in the day, so I just pulled out my copy of Necromancer here just to show you how the new pocket boxes compare to the original. So, you know, Necromancer back in the day and uh, Steve Jackson Games did just run a pocket box Kickstarter where they reprinted Necromancer and I did pick up a new one as well. So I can't wait to do that comparison video also. But here is how the original pocket box looked as compared to the new. It is wider. No, actually, it's actually about right. The width is about the same. It's just thicker because even the length appears to be the same. It's just about twice as thick. And instead of having these clasps on the end, which, you know, could break, it's more of a VHS cassette kind of a box. Also, they did want to call out that, no, there is no kind of retail uh, kind of tag up at the top. And then open that up, open this up. In the original kind of pocket box, you have some counters here and a little sheet from Steve Jackson Games. You have, of course, the map, paper map, and the rule booklet. So that is excellent. And then compared to the new one, this pocket box contains both Melee and Wizard and a little baggie of dice and an extra baggie to hold the counters once you punch them out. Here are the rules for melee. Here are some wizard reference pages, which is awesome. Spell tables. Yep, all the different IQ levels and spells. And then the wizard book. So it's basically like the box of melee and wizard combined into one plastic because then we have the melee map we also have the wizard map which is much bigger so it'll be like that size because obviously you have a lot more range going on there were uh the possibility to add range weapons in melee but in wizard obviously with the focus being spell casting and then here's all the counters and they are not shrink wrapped so we can actually take a look at all of them these are all the counters for melee and wizard i believe because yeah here we go we have that gorgeous seven hex dragon we have this one it's almost more of a wyvern i think and also all these fantastic art counters but i also love these extra counters like firewalls and other walls that could potentially be summoned all these other beasts bears and snakes giants weapons trolls those guys those creepy guys full color counters on the back are skulls weapons so yeah, there's bows on one side of those, crossbows on the other, and more beasts and scary things. That is just so awesome. So that, that's a lot of content in that pocket box. Are they actually called pocket boxes? I'm pretty sure they are. And yeah, actually, in these pants, not to get totally weird, but I can, pretty sure I can fit this in my pocket. I'm going to try right now. Look at this. Boom. Are you kidding me? That, folks, is a test for the ages. This is a pocket box. Literally fits perfectly in your pocket. Hey, you want to know what's in my pocket? Yeah, boom, Melee and Wizard. 
That is just so freaking awesome. All right, so the final thing that I want to take a look at is, of course, the gorgeous new hardcover in the Labyrinth, which combines these three things all in one, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the original in the Labyrinth, and also Advanced Melee, Advanced Wizard, and here is the new hardcover. They have both hard and soft. Here is the hardcover edition because I wanted a bit of like an actual contrast here of the old school soft cover versus the hardcover. So you have maps. You have everything a GM will need to run the fantasy trip in this book as the GM with the melee and the wizard advanced rules. So obviously there is a lot more going on here than some of that old school art versus this new edition, which is great. Let's see if how these compare. The interior pages. So we have the copyright information there, 1980, 2018, 1980 there. That is awesome. Metagaming versus Steve Jackson games in the labyrinth. Is that not just so cool? Oh my gosh. We have some pretty good art there right on page one. We do have some pretty cool artwork in the new one as well. Boom right on here we go all sorts of information artwork scattered throughout tables all the information you are going to need in order to play this game fantastic let's see is there an inner okay so here's the introduction in the labyrinth a fantasy game the fantasy trip is a fantasy game see that is just so cool i can't wait to go through there and actually read up on what's new, what's old. So what else could potentially come? Oh my gosh, I would f die if, yeah, take a look at these. These are the original Fantasy Trip Microchers. Have a couple brand new packs of those. Here's a pack of Hobgoblins. Here is a pack of Orcs. And yeah, for three bucks, you could pick up a pack of those. Let's see if we eventually could potentially get some new fantasy trip miniatures. Would that not just be awesome? What else do we want? Well, I also did manage to complete my collection of Interplay magazines. Well, you know, technically there is a hex. I think it is just called hex. The zine for the fantasy trip. So that's kind of coming back. Obviously, we do have Wizard already. We also have Death Test 1 and 2 that have been reprinted. I think there were some issues uh, with some of these other micro quests. Uh, but let's see what else we have. This was kind of an interesting product. Uh, the Codex. That'd be funny. If they actually did one of these, it'd probably be more like a joke just because the usefulness of this left a little something to be lacking, I, or so I've heard, where this basically has all of the information that you might want to know, but it'll actually... It's like a codex, so it'll tell you where to find it. So, in fact, like this items list, you want to know all about the amulet against drowning? Well, you can find it on page 33 of Advanced Wizard. So that's literally what this is. It's a where in all the rest of the books and materials and things, where to find what this stuff is. So, yeah, all this stuff, Advanced Melee... Regular wizard, advanced melee, advanced wizard. So it has just page references for anything you want to look at. It's like a, just a big index is what this is. 
but so that's just hilarious to me. And someone originally got this for 10 bucks. All right, folks, that is that just a comparison in under a half hour. I can't believe it's been that long already. <sighs> this is so amazing. I can't tell you how much I absolutely love this folks. Check out the fantasy trip. You can play Melee and Wizard on their own just as tactical, miniature, kind of skirmish war game. You can combine them all within the labyrinth to have a full-on campaign RPG adventure. Because back in the day, the fantasy trip made their mark. Now, where in the world is it? This poster is pretty cool, but I'm kind of going off the rails here. It would have been in the 70s. Oh, look there, right there. The fantasy trip. Fantastic. Boom. They left. Steve Jackson left his mark a long, long time ago. And here we are, 2019. Just absolutely fantastic. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.